We are Linnea and Aquila, van lifers, adventurers, and DIYers that just pulled up to our 40 acres of raw land. I entered this first week on the property with a huge to-do list, and of course things didn't quite go as planned with the weather or the tasks, but some really beautiful things did unfold. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode of this off-grid homestead coming to life. Beginning of December, I officially purchased my 40 acres. So what's tricky about this is that it's raw land, which is also wonderful. My property doesn't have an address. I would like to have an address on my property. So I just got out of the library. I printed off my application for my address. My address application needs to be submitted with my with a building permit application. I'm not ready to build a house yet. And she said that I could use the shipping container for my building. Also, so I got these two, and then I also needed to make a copy of my deed of trust. Oh, I don't know if I, I just, like my heart is beating right now thinking about not doing this all correctly. First time landowner, how the heck are you supposed to know what you're doing? <laughs> so I think I have this under control. I don't know. See, like, I don't even know where I'm supposed to bring them into. I'll do that later. It's amazing how many little things go into all of this. Like, of course you guys will see me doing the actual projects. There, there's like so much mental energy that goes into everything else. And I'm not even in a strict county. That's why I bought land here. So I can't even imagine what it would be like living in a county that is like super strict. <laughs> I just want to know what tw 20 tons of gravel looks like. I'm going to see if I can have him dump in two different areas just to make the work a little bit easier on my end. So since I got here, it's been quite cold and extremely windy. Last night, Elsa was telling me that there were kind of near her, which is kind of near me, um, like 40 mile an hour gusts of wind. So I'm gonna step right now, I have the van parked to where it's blocking some of the wind. Um, I'm gonna step into it so you can get a little bit of an idea. <laughs> just like pushing me back. It's crazy. What are you doing? During this first week on the property, everything came flooding in at once. About six projects have begun, all with different timelines and overlapping needs. I love you. There is so much excitement around creating things with my hands again and doing physical work outside, but the weather has encouraged a different kind of work. The kind that is a bit less fun, but very necessary. And while some of these initial things have been getting sorted out, I realize that I have one main goal in mind as this all progresses. I have been thinking so hard and walking around and trying to figure out some of my plans for some simple irrigation to start off with, where exactly I want to build my shed. But in order for basically any of this to actually happen, I need to put in my well pump. In order for me to know what pump to get, I needed to measure the static water level of my well. I spent far too long trying to get this measurement, and after realizing that I needed some extra input, I called James, who Aquila was very excited to see, and together we got the numbers that I needed. My water sits at about 250 feet, which gives me the understanding of what kind of solar power I will need for my water to travel this far, the pump needed, the amount of PEX, as well as the amount of submersible cable. Yeah, this has been quite the learning process, but knowledge is so fun. Here's 
She's going wild right now. She's chasing prairie dogs back into their little holes. Keila, what did you find? That's a really good bone. She is so proud. <laughs> so in the past, I have often either felt like too proud or that I didn't want to come off as complaining, but through really learning how to open up, especially with my therapist, which creates a really safe space for me. I have learned about the value of just being really honest. And so the truth is, week one on the property, I am very overwhelmed. But while we are on the topic of emotions and being honest about where we're at in life, I do wanna give a huge thank you to BetterHelp for supporting my channel and for sponsoring today's video. When I stuff my emotions, especially around those that I love, that is typically when my mental health suffers the most. And over the past year and a half that I've been seeing my current therapist, who I just absolutely love, I have really begun to understand the importance of honoring where I'm at, trying my hardest not to judge myself for the way that I'm feeling, but rather just really feeling them. And I think the interesting thing is that I'm very good at doing that for other people, but not so much when it comes to myself. And I, I think that I'm definitely not the only one that falls in that category. So BetterHelp can connect you with a therapist that could help you in similar ways. I can imagine a lot of you are in a similar situation to me. Maybe you're not in a place each week to go sit down with a therapist in person. And if that's the case, BetterHelp could be a perfect fit for you, considering you can do it all from your phone or computer. By having sessions via a phone call or a video chat or even messaging, whatever feels best or works best for you in your situation. You can be matched with a therapist through BetterHelp usually within 48 hours. And if this feels right for you, make sure to visit BetterHelp dot com slash Linnea and Aquila or choose Linnea and Aquila during sign up and enjoy a special discount with your first month of BetterHelp. My brain is unable to slow down at all. That's just the mode I think I'm going to be in for like, <laughs> like 15 years. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I just need to adjust to having um, a, a project this um, large. Right now it is four o'clock. It is drizzling and I don't want to just be stuck in the van for the rest of the evening. So I wanna show you my plans for the shipping container. Akila loves going to the shipping container. <laughs> it's really quite funny. I don't like moving things in and out of my spaces. So that is why I'm dedicating this to two, two and a half, I guess, really important things in my life. One of them is working out. She loves this thing. I know, I'm opening it for you. <laughs> Welcome to my really obnoxiously orange 40 foot shipping container. Okay. Right now I'm standing at the back of my shipping container. So this whole section is going to be my gym, indoor slash outdoor, because I have ordered a roll-up door kit that's gonna go right here. Um, we can have the roll-up door open all day while we're here and just have like light and space I have really enjoyed imagining and planning what a few of these spaces will become, but I have also been very intentional about enjoying and using them now, because I know that it will make it even sweeter when I can really feel the transformation as it happens, which is a small piece of my big goal surrounding this new endeavor. Well, we certainly got a um, a welcome home from the property.
cold. I should have never taken my wood stove out. Oh my God. Okay, Kila, come on. Oh, oh my God. All right, Kila, come on. Honestly, it probably really, really needs all of the precipitation, so I'm not complaining. I will admit I have expected to wake up and the snow be almost gone, but <laughs> sure enough, it's still snowing this morning. <laughs> It is so beautiful. It really feels like a spring snow. Like it's warm outside. It's really, really moist snow. I bet all of these plants are so happy. I can't believe how beautiful this is. I just stepped out the size that I think I want for my pottery studio shed. Originally I thought 10 by 10, but that's really quite small for everything that I want to do in my temporary studio. So I'm thinking 14 electrical system, kiln firing, this entire L can be shelving. I want it angled like this because the wind often comes over those mountains. That's my plan. Can you picture it? <laughs> It'll be great. It's 4.30 in the afternoon and almost all of the snow is gone. It was nice while it lasted, but I'm really grateful that it's doing its thing. I know that this video is a lot of like, not fun stuff as far as like seeing progress visually, but oh my God, I feel like these last few days I've been getting so much done, it's insane. I spent a long time on plans for the platform of of my shed because that was weighing on me and then the other really big thing was I ordered my water pump for my well this was a really big like learning curve I before this didn't even know what a water pump for a well looked like and I'm really grateful for the information that both James and Baron were willing to share with me about um, suggestions on the pump I called the company today I talked with them for a really long time. I called two different times, actually, to ask questions and make sure that I understood everything that I was getting. The birds are singing, the snow is gone. I got so much planning and ordering done today. <sighs> I'm so grateful. Like, I am bursting with gratitude right now. I'm grateful for the internet. I'm grateful to be alive in a time where I can learn literally anything that I want to by plugging it into YouTube. I'm grateful that I have the determination to actually figure everything out and take care of things on my own. I'm so grateful for this property. I'm grateful for my mom. It's almost Mother's Day. I'm so grateful for Akila. <laughs> it's just like, I'm so grateful right now. 
And I also have nesting ravens in my rock wall, which is really cool. I think there's three of them. They're just waiting. <laughs> They're just waiting for mom and dad to get back with food. Oh my god. Oh, there's... There's... Oh my gosh. So here is my goal and my intention for this property, and it has nothing to do with what I actually plan to build. Instead, I plan to move slowly and enjoy every single project every single day. I want to constantly pause and take my time and remind myself not to rush through any of this, because what would I even be rushing towards anyway? I plan on never believing that I will be happier when something is completed, but instead I want to be the happiest while creating it. And this might just be a long-winded way of saying that my goal is to enjoy the journey and not just the destination, but that's true. Because I know that one day I'm going to look back and wish that I could climb up on the top of the rocks and look out over these unfinished projects and relive the excitement and these huge learning curves and each little boost of pride at one more learned skill. So that is my goal. And so far, it is going great. Thanks for being here, everybody. I'll see you next week. When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done